<clears throat> For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. It's just so plain and simple. We are born to die. We are sinners. For the Bible says, For all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. At the wages of sin is death. So, all of us being sinners, all of us are going to face death one day. And there are some who have the idea, well, death, nothing else happens. I go to a hole in the ground and that's it, but it's not. The Bible says that there is an afterlife. The afterlife is heaven by Jesus Christ alone. And there's a hell for everything else but Jesus Christ. The wrath of God is that those who do not have the Son, capital S-O-N, but life is through Jesus Christ and Jesus Christ alone. For Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. It's that plain and simple. We're going to die one day, and the God that created us, that defies the teaching of evolution, is when he created man, he created man not with death. He created man with an eternal soul and body and spirit and gave the man, Adam, a command. He says, if you thou shalt not eat of the fruit of the tree of knowledge of good and evil. Adam disobeyed the word of God. And he ate that fruit where God said, if thou shalt surely eat of that fruit, thou shalt surely die. And because of Adam's transgression, we all have sinned. We are born in the sin nature of Adam, but for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son that whosoever believes in him should not perish but have everlasting life. Behold the Lamb of God, which take away the sin of the world. We're born in sin thanks to Adam. All have sinned and come short in the glory of God. The wages of sin is death. And yet there is the Lamb of God, which take away the sin of the world. And this is not a test. It is real life that Jesus saves and only Jesus saves. Your religion is not acceptable to God. Your denial of God is unacceptable to God. It is by Jesus Christ who said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. So when Jesus said he is the way, it is no other way. There is no other religion. And how foolish you would be as you reject Jesus Christ as your Savior. Look at yourself in the mirror how foolish you'll be by rejecting the Word of God. For God said Jesus is the way, the truth, and the life. And no man comes unto the Father but by me. And being sinners that we are, for all have sin come short the glory of God. The wages of sin is death. There is none righteous, no, not one. And God says, be holy, God, for I am holy. Which is impossible for man because man is a sinner. So the impossibility of religion of man cannot make you holy. For man is a sinner. Your prophet
prophets, your priests, your pastors, your rabbi, your church leaders, whatever title they have given, they are sinners too. And in the realm of God, sinners cannot be holy by your own merit. And yet Jesus Christ, sinless perfection. Jesus Christ without sin. Jesus Christ who is God suffered and died upon the cross according to the scriptures and was buried and arose again the third day according to the scriptures here is a man that is God and God that is a man without sin offering a sacrifice for the sinner and God does not want you to run through burning hoops God does not want you to walk a tight line. God does not want you to expressly billions and millions of dollars. He wants you to put your faith upon Jesus Christ and Jesus Christ alone to be saved. See, the Bible says that, I've already quoted, the wages of sin is death, but that verse is not finished. The verse goes on to say, but the gift of God's eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. And that there is no other remedy, there is no other means for you to get to God except by Jesus Christ who said He is the way, the truth, and the life. No man comes unto the Father but by me. It's that simple. You're going to pass from this body and this life over to the eternal and you're not going to get to heaven by, by anything but Jesus Christ. You're not saved, good thinkings. You're without hope when you have not put your faith in the blessed hope, Jesus Christ. You cannot say, oh, I wish I get to heaven. I have done good things to get to heaven. When the Bible says there is none that doeth good. So you cannot use an excuse that God says, I am not going to take that excuse when none have done good for the means of salvation. And when you look at man's salvation, and you look at it, it's the very act and love of God that he suffered and died according to the scriptures for us. What means are you going to suffer in your life that you can obtain heaven? Your 40 days of Lent does not matter to God because Jesus fasted without food and water 40 days. He's done better than what you've done. And he's done it without sin. He's done it without complaining. He's done it in the full love of his Father. And he's done it for the full love of the race of men that he created. He created the world, the world knew him not. And you think that your 40 days of giving up on hard candy for soft candy, that's not going to get you to heaven, that's a lying hell devised by men who are sinners. Because the Bible speaks about believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and thou shalt be saved. That's that simple. You're going to have pretty soon, you're going to celebrate an Estar. Estar. That is a Babylonian garbage worship. You may pronounce it as Easter, but the true name is Estar, and you think you're going to celebrate Jesus Christ coming up from the tomb. You are celebrating the false god of Tammuz. Tammuz cannot get you to heaven. Estar can't get you to heaven. There is no hope in the Pope but Jesus Christ, who is God and who is man who is a sinless man perfected that gave his life and gave God's blood, Acts 20, 28, that we may be saved to the other most. These things have I written unto you that you may know you have eternal life and that eternal life to be known is set forth in Jesus Christ. God manifested in the flesh. The sinless one. Behold the man, the Bible says. Pilate said three times, I find no fault. 
and the King of the Jews, the man of Nazareth, Jesus Christ. You are without hope when you do not believe on Jesus. You are without hope in the religion. You are without hope in atheism. You are without hope in evolution. You are without hope in education. But in Jesus Christ, you are having the blessed hope, for that blessed hope is Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ, Jesus Christ, Jesus Christ, not as a God, but as a glorious name that saved my soul, and is able to save your soul. Billy Graham can't save your soul, only Jesus Christ, my priest, your priest, can't save your soul, but the high priest of God, Jesus Christ. My pastor, your pastor, can't save your soul because he's not of God. He's not sinless perfection as Jesus Christ is. Darwin today is a Bible believer wherever he went. I don't know where he went. But in his teachings, it defied God. It defied the Bible. It defied life. And that life is in Jesus Christ. Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and thou shalt be saved. Such a name above names, the Bible says, in Acts chapter 4. In Acts chapter 4, we read, I read, Acts chapter 4, Neither is there salvation in any other, for there is none other name under heaven, given amongst men whereby we must be saved. One name above all names, that's the Lord Jesus Christ. That's the salvation. Any other name? Ain't going to get you to heaven. Any other name? You ain't got the hope. Any other name? You're a fool. Well, I'm an atheist. The Bible says the fool has said in his heart that there's no God. The Bible says prepare the meat, thy God. Atheist. The God that you don't believe in, you're going to face judgment one day. I, you better think that God you don't believe in. You better believe in that God is able to save your soul in the name of Jesus Christ. You better dump your religion, whatever religion, Baptist, whatever you believe. You better turn it to Jesus Christ, the Savior of mankind. Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and thou shalt be saved. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in him, Jesus, shall not perish. You reject Jesus Christ, you're going to perish. God's going to throw you off into a sin incinerator. Hell, lake of fire, you burn forever. You'll burn, you'll burn, you'll burn, you'll burn, you'll never get end. You'll never get relief from the torture. You will never, ever, ever have a comfort. You'll never have mercy. You'll never have grace unless you believe on the Lord Jesus Christ. And when you die, you'll be absent from the body, present with the Lord. You'll get a brand new body in glory. You'll get no more tears, no more sin, no more heartaches, no more bye-byes, no more upset. In glory, you worship the Savior God who suffered and died for you, according to the scriptures. It was buried. And arose again the third day according to the scripture. You are able today to be a child of God through Jesus Christ and Jesus Christ alone. Nothing else. Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. Jesus said, I am the way. Forget all the way. I'm a Catholic. That's not the way. I'm a scientist. That's not the way. I believe in Buddha. That's definitely not in the way. The way is Jesus Christ. God manifested in the flesh, the sinless one, God himself. Woe to be to you if you're a Jehovah Witness and you don't believe that Jesus is God. You've got to have God to save your soul. No God, no salvation, no hope. That's plain and simple. Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, the Bible says. Take your Koran and go color in a coloring book, will ya? Take your missile, go drop it on a bunch of people. But the Bible, the King James Bible, the words of life, the words of Jesus. The Bible says in John, John chapter 1. In the beginning was the Word, capital W. 
And the Word, capital W, was with God. And the Word, capital W, was God. The Word of God. There's nothing else. There's no other. No nonsense has the work of devil upon a sheet of music and compared to what God has written forth by the Holy Spirit. You are a lost sinner. You need Jesus Christ. You are a saved sinner. You need to grow in Jesus Christ. But no matter what, whether you're lost or whether you are saved, you need Jesus Christ and nothing else. It's the glory of God. It is the manifestation of God. It is the, the mercy of God. It's the long-suffering of God that Jesus Christ. The love of God that you want is that he tells preachers like me, go ye to all the world and preach the gospel that Jesus suffered and died according to the scriptures and was buried and arose again the third day according to the scriptures. That's the good news. That Jesus is able to save your soul. Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ. And thou shalt be saved. Jesus said, suffer the little children to come unto me. That's the hope. That's the glory. Jesus Christ and no other. John the Baptist says, he that has the Son, capital S-O-N, has everlasting life. He that has not the Son, capital S-O-N, shall not see life, but the wrath of God abiding upon him. You're not going to go drinking with the devil in hell. Alcohol burns. It's a place of darkness. It's a place of torment. It's a place of no mercy and grace. That is a great habitation of Satan, the devil, your father. John 8, 44. Don't go join them. Come into the family of God. Become adopted by God the Father through Jesus Christ and the Holy Spirit by believing on the Lord Jesus Christ and that shall be saved. That's the meaning of salvation. That's what will get you out of hell. Jesus Christ. He's not a name to be cussed. He's not a name to ignore. He's a name to believe and put your faith in. Jesus Christ, the blessed hope, the glorious hope. Amplify Jesus Christ as Lord God the Father forever. Amplify. When amplification on the earth don't work, lift up Jesus Christ as the name above me, the King of Kings, the Lord of Lords, the Savior of mankind. If you to put your faith in Him, never mind the devil's sheet music. Put your eyes, put your ears, put your nose, put your mouth in the King James Bible of life. That's where life lies. Jesus Christ is the Word. That Word tells you believe on the Lord Jesus Christ to be saved. That Word tells you to repent of your sins and get right with God through Jesus Christ. That Bible tells you you are a sinner. Now, repent and get right with God through Jesus Christ. It's glory to God. It's glory. Jesus Christ. There's no other way. Catholic, Baptist, Baptist, Buddhist, Mormonism are not in the gates of new glory. But Christian, and I mean the true Christian, not the fake news Christian, but the Christian that has put his faith in all in all in the blessed hope, Jesus Christ. That's the one. Salvation can only come by Jesus Christ. Salvation to get into heaven is only by Jesus Christ. You go walking on up to the gates of God and say, God, let me into heaven. God will see, I want to see the blood to let you in. No blood, no admittance. No blood, depart from me, you workers of iniquity. I never knew you. Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the light. No man cometh unto me, but no man comes unto the Father, but by me are the words of Jesus. And it's going to be sorry to sorry in the eternal life at the at the judgment. People will say, "God, I was a Baptist. Depart from me, you workers of iniquity. I never knew you." God, I gave money to charity. Depart from me, you workers of iniquity. I never knew you. God, I did. 
Depart from me, you workers of iniquity. I never knew you. Oh, Lord God, I come in here by the mercy and the grace and the blood of the gospel of Jesus Christ, my Savior. There's no other hope, God. It's only by your Son, Jesus Christ, who, are, who is you. Well done, thou good and faithful son, servant. Come in, enter the joy of the Lord. See, that's... You can have God say, welcome, by Jesus Christ. Or you can have God tell you, go to hell without Jesus Christ. If there's no hell, why do people say go to hell? Ha ha ha, they don't go to Hades. How come when they bash their thumb, they curse out the name of Jesus Christ, but they don't say Buddha? Why don't they call on Allah? It's not a God. The Pope is not a God. Never heard them cry the Pope's name in anger. But I've heard them take the name of Jesus Christ above all names. The blessed arm and curse that wonderful great name in heaven. Take the Lord's name in vain. That's one of the commandments. Thou shalt not take the Lord's name in vain. That don't mean just cussing Jesus out. Or GD. That means when you use God's name is just to use his name, you know, as the, in the act of God on your insurance policy. That's taking it God's name in vain. Oh, let's, let's just have a prayer circle. Oh, we'll just mention God. That's taking God's name in vain. Every time you watch a television program and they say something about God, that's taking God's name in vain. You're a sinner. All have sinned. All have come short of the glory of God. There is none righteous but Jesus Christ. There is no other hope but Jesus Christ. There's no hope in the Pope. It's in the hope in Jesus Christ. There's no hope in Mary. The Bible speaks about the salvation. There's one mediator between God and man. The man! Christ Jesus, not a woman. Sorry. Repent and get right or go off to hell and don't cut the 500. Don't pass. Go. His only way to go is through Jesus Christ. You don't go to go. Go Jesus Christ and go right to hell. It's that simple. Jesus or hell. That's it. Don't cry baby to me, don't get angry with me, get angry with God because that love of God that you want, that love is in Jesus Christ, it's in the gospel that he suffered and died according to the scriptures, was married, arose again the third day according to the scriptures, that's your life, that's your hope. Does it else? Jesus said, I am the way, there's no other way. People today have died and enter into eternity. Some have gone into, he into heaven. Few, the Bible say, few go through the, the, sh uh, the straight gate and narrows the way. Few that go therein. And many of the people today that have died have entered into hell. Broad is the way that leads them to destruction. You may be next. You may be next. Sorry to say, I read about today a husband and wife crossing the street. And a drunk driver killed them. Death will happen any moment, any time. You just, you're, sometimes you're not warned. Doctor may say you have six months. Sometimes you're not even told six seconds. You don't know when death is going to come. And if you die death without Jesus Christ, you will die and go off into hell of torments for the rest of your life. And that life is forever. If you believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, you will meet death. The Bible says to be absent from this body, death, to be present with the Lord forever. These things have I written unto you that you may know you have eternal life. You don't know if you have eternal life in a religion. It's not spoken about in your religion that you can know. It's spoken about in the Bible. Eternal security of the believer in Christ Jesus manifested, manifested in the scriptures. The love of God is Jesus Christ. There's no other love. It's a deceivement. It's to get you into hell with the person that preaches that love. If a man don't preach the death, burial, resurrection, and the blood of Jesus Christ, he's a heretic. If he preaches you're a good person, and God loves all good persons, he's a heretic. You tell them I said it, you bring him here, I'll tell him right to his face. 
His salvation is through Jesus Christ, Jesus Christ alone, only by the blood of Jesus Christ, only by the gospel that Jesus Christ suffered and died, spilled his blood, God's blood, Acts 20, 28, and was buried, and arose again the third day according to the scriptures. That's the salvation. Get rid of Estar bunnies. Get rid of Estar eggs. Get rid of Santa Claus. Santa Claus doesn't know. Santa Claus doesn't keep a list. God does. Behold the eyes of the Lord in every place. Beholding the evil and the good. That's not a name that can't save you. Jesus Christ is only able to save you. Forget about that name. Come over. Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ. Get your name written in the last book of life. Behold the Lamb of God which take away the sin of the world. Fully on man's name. And glory to the name of Jesus Christ, God of all, the wonderful God. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believes in him should not perish but have everlasting life. Don't perish after you die. Repent and turn to Jesus Christ with your sins. Behold, the Lamb of God would take away the sins of the world. God says, come now, let us reason again. Though your sins be as scarlet, they shall be made white as snow. You're a sinner. All have sinned and come short of the glory of God. There is no other remedy. Forget religion. Religion comes from the depths of hell. It's man-made. But Jesus Christ is God approved. Come on to the Lord. Come bring yourself. Bring who you are. Bring that sinner. Get down on your knees. Receive Jesus Christ as your Savior. In your name will be written down in the Lamb's Book of Life forever. And when your name is made in the Lamb's Book of Life, reservations by Jesus Christ, the blessed hope, the glorious hope, that you might be saved. Saved from what? Hell! Hell! Your people may tell you to go to hell, but we tell you how not to go to hell. How do you not go to hell? Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, and thou shalt be saved. Oh, preacher, you're upsetting me with hell. Oh, please stop me. You're upsetting me. I'm so offended by what you're saying. sinner by the blood of Jesus Christ. If you are a lost sinner without the blood of Jesus Christ, you have no hope. You have a damnation. You have a condemnation. You have tortures and torments waiting for you. And whatever you put your faith in, if it's not Jesus Christ. 
It's a wonder and great of the fact is that Jesus God is able to save your soul. Call upon Jesus. Repent of your sins. Put your faith in Jesus Christ that he is able to cleanse you of your sin. The Lamb of God which take away the sin of the world. It's that glory. It's that wonderful to God. Manifest in the blood. There is nothing else. There is no other way. There is no thinking against God. It is Jesus Christ or it is hell. And if I offend you with hell, 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 do not go to hell. Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and thou shalt be saved. It's that simple. You're not going to approach God with what you think. God don't care what you think. He's written down in His Holy Word. If you've got a copy right now at home, it says the Holy Bible. Bible book. Bibla book. The Holy Book. If you didn't know that. And in that holy book, that holy Bible, the King James, there are words in there. Yeah, they're written by man. I'll agree with you, they're written by man. The pen is of man and the ink is the Holy Spirit that wrote that word. That word has been that there's a hell. And you don't have to go to hell. You can believe on the Lord Jesus Christ. I'll tell you something better than what he can write is what God has written. The ways of salvation, the way of glorious hope, the way of believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, the way of getting a brand new body, a way of having mercy and grace forever, a way of having no more pain, no more sorrow, forever to have a brand new body that will not break down anymore, of forever without evolution, everything will be better in heaven, according to Hebrews. In Hebrews, everything is better by Jesus Christ. Everything without Jesus Christ gets worse. And there's no hope. The Bible speaks about Jesus Christ as the blessed hope. The word blessed means happy. The happy hope is in Jesus Christ. The glory of God is Jesus Christ. The salvation of God is Jesus Christ. The entrance into hell is not receiving Jesus Christ. Rejecting Jesus Christ. Come up with a religion that will get you into hell. Have a great and positive environment that will get you into hell. Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and thou shalt be saved from hell. For God so loved the world that He gave His only begotten Son that whosoever believeth in Him should not perish but have everlasting life. Your life after death to be holy and great is to believe on Jesus Christ to repent of your sin. Acknowledge the sinner you are for all have sinned. Don't say you have not sinned when the Bible says you are a sinner. And the wages of sin is death. How many people say, oh, I've never sinned are in a graveyard? Your accountability to sin is you will die. And the gift of God's eternal life through Jesus Christ, our Lord. That's the love message of God. That Jesus Christ suffered and died according to the scriptures. And was buried. And arose again the third day according to the scriptures. That 
you were to put your faith and your belief in Jesus Christ, in his finished work, not of works least any man boasts, if you were to put your faith in the Lamb of God that take away the sin of the world, you will get your name in the Lamb's Book of Life. That's the reservation to get to heaven. And with that, the assurance of salvation that you may know you have eternal life. We became sinners by Adam long, long time ago. God told Adam, Thou shalt not eat of that fruit of the tree of life of good and evil. And that though, if you do, thou shalt surely die. And when you sin, you do the same thing that God told Adam not to do. God told Adam not to, and Adam did. God told Adam, thou shalt not, and Adam done. The Bible declares for you to believe on the Lord Jesus Christ. And you have not. You're doing the same sin that Adam did. You are rebelling against the word of God. God told Adam not to, Adam did. God tells you to and you will not. You're just a reversal of what Adam did in his sin. You will not believe on the Lord Jesus Christ. You will not have hope. You will not be blessed. Because Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. There is no pleasure in sin in the afterlife. The book of Hebrews recorded that there is pleasure in sin today. Amazing. The Holy Bible says that there is pleasure in sin. Yet, but when you get to the eternal life with your sin, there is no pleasure. There's torment. That pleasure will be turned to torment and condemnation. Will it be worth it all? To serve sin in the flesh. No, it will not be. Will it be worth it all to serve and believe on Jesus? Oh, glorious day. You celebrate a birthday, though you were only born once. Yet the Bible speaks about be ye born again. You must be born again. You were born wrong. You were born in your sins. And yet to be born of spirit, to be born through God, by God, by Jesus Christ, changes your destination forever. You can say honestly through Jesus, through Jesus, I am going to heaven. You cannot say that when you have not believed on Jesus Christ. You must be born again. You must put your faith upon Jesus Christ. You must be washed in the blood of Jesus Christ. You must be sin cleansed forever. And that's only been done by Jesus Christ. Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. So when God says, I am the only way, how dare you come with other ways? You will be found at fault. And you will be condemned and found guilty of your sins forever. You must come God's way. And that way is through Jesus Christ. There is no other way. There are a 
other gods, but they are not like God. And them gods, and you that choose to reject Jesus Christ will bow the knee and proclaim Jesus Christ is Lord. Too late. You can drop the knee today and say, Jesus is the Lord and my Savior. And have eternal hope. It's now or later. Later. You only say it as you go into the lake of fire that burneth forever. Today, you can do it and enter into glory, heaven, righteousness. Sinlessness, perfection. Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and thou shalt be saved. I believe in, you're not saved. I got, you're not saved. I, you're not saved. Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and thou shalt be saved. Salvation comes by Jesus Christ and only by Jesus Christ. That's it. Only Jesus saves. No other. Time's getting short. I don't know how short, but Jesus is coming. I know where to give you any date or form. But what will I do if Jesus comes in your time? Woe unto you if death comes knocking on your door before you receive Christ. The wages of sin is death, but the gift of God's eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. I wonder how many people died this morning thinking they had today to live. You might be one of them. Do not die without Jesus Christ as your Savior. You know, run to the store, get the milk, get the eggs. Go pay that bill. Go pick up your child believe on the Lord Jesus Christ to be saved. Make salvation a to-do on your to-do list today. Because that to-do list may not ever be finished. You're not guaranteed today. It may. You may have one more minute, you may have one more hour, one more day, one more week, one more month, I don't know. But death may come now. If you do it without Jesus Christ, you enter into hell for all eternity. You see, people go to hell because they reject Jesus. Jesus Christ can cleanse you of your sin. It's not murder, it's not being a thief that gets you into hell, it's your being a sinner and rejecting Jesus Christ that will get you into hell. In the eyes of God through Jesus Christ, I am no longer a sinner. I've become a child of God through Jesus Christ. Now this body, it sins. And if it dies, it will go into the grave and rot and corrupt but this soul will be passed on to eternity waiting for the rapture you can believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and that will change your eternal destination you can come from the pit of hell unto the glorious holy mountain of God 
only by Jesus Christ. Nothing else. I don't care who taught you. I don't care what taught you. Salvation of God is through Jesus Christ. And Jesus Christ alone. That is it. Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and thou shalt be saved. That's simple.